Hello and welcome to Path of Exile. This is Affliction League 3.23, but this should work in any league. This is a 10 chaos build, we'll call it, and it's in Act 6. And we're going to be using Flicker Strike as Slayer. Although, technically, it doesn't really matter what we are because we haven't even uh, ascended yet. So, let's get into it and I'll explain it all really quickly, as quick as I can. It's not too complicated. If you're new and you're thinking, how can I get 10 Chaos? Well, if you have these, you can actually buy them in as early as Act 3 for Whetstones. And you just need two of these. And two of these equals, right now in this economy, uh, 3 Chaos. You could get 2 to 3 Chaos maybe for these. And then for this stack, you can get about 3 Chaos. Uh, so this is 9-ish Chaos. So just a little more, 10 Chaos. And you're there. So let's go over the items. Let's start off right here. And we're looking at a one chaos item. I have uh, five links on it. But you could get, I'm, I'm purposely showing you, you get a one one socket item. I don't, not even five linked. So that's one chaos. And then this item. And that's a terminus est. And this is level 51. And this is when I, when I would actually want to start using Flicker Strike, just because, specifically because of this weapon makes it a lot easier to use it, the skill itself. Then we're going to go over to Thief's Torment. It does quite a bit. It gives us mana back. It gives us life gain on hit. Pretty cool stuff. And a bunch of resistances. Let's see how much this one costs. One to two chaos. And this, I have a six link, but you could get a, you can get a chest, a five link chest, maybe even a four link you want to bail out on Fortify uh, for one chaos, <laughs> it's not that hard. This is just for speed, a little bit of attack power, and I think it's, what is that, one or two chaos? Three chaos? You don't even need this. We're going to call this a one chaos, uh, chaos item, because you really don't need it. I have it on there mo mostly for the, um, for the speed, the 20% movement speed. So we're at one, two, three... We'll call this two, five, this item, six, nice, this item, it's just gloves, seven, these, eight, maybe nine, I actually found a second pair of this, and some boots, storm charger, um, just make sure that it has the higher 37% move speed. And one chaos, one chaos, one chaos. We're talking ten chaos here, guys. Um, if if you're if you get a little bit better deal, maybe eight chaos. If you just buy some nicer stuff, maybe twelve. But it's going to be really easy. And I purposely took everything else off of here. And you'll notice I have eighteen points to spend. So let's go into the rest of it. We'll bring up the um the passive tree. And I did ascend, but I, I, I unascended just to, just to show you that it doesn't matter what you pick at this point. Um, it costs you 10 regret points, but you can get chaos really easily in the end game, so regrets don't really matter. So I just got rid of this, and I have nothing ascended. Okay? And then you might be thinking, well, this affliction leak, it has all kinds of cool stuff. And it sure does. It, it, it has this right here. If you don't have any sockets in your helm or your chest or your feet or your hands it gives you all these buffs but we're going to take away all those by going like this we're going to put this in here this in here then this oh we'll put it there and these are just random gems that don't aren't supporting anything they're just there to cancel out the buff see my health over there it was 1300 and now it's 1140 okay next up Let's go over the rest of the tree. <laughs> I'm purposely not using any of these tinctures either. I could put a tincture on there and help myself out. The only um, flask I'm using is this one, and that's just a convenience flask to move faster, but we're not going to count that. You could just have one of these. That's not even rolled. This uh, is not going to make any difference at all. It's a nice It's decent. There. And then let's go into the tree itself. 
and again, this is just to show you that you really the, the choices you make aren't really aren't really that important. Once you get these you just items, you can even swap out a couple of them. Uh, this is important. This is makes things nice, but um, that and that I would say is pretty important. This is just nice for speed, speed, a little bit of movement speed there I think as well when full on life. So this is just mostly utilitarian, uh, nice stuff to have. That's all. But ten chaos, you could probably do it for less. But there's no reason you're going to be able to collect this this much while you're out there. So let's get into the tree. All we've taken. Uh, this one is kind of nice. It's a strike skill, hits an, a nearby additional target. And we've just come down here. And we've taken the life skill here. Uh, a little bit of strength there. The only reason I went over here is I needed a little bit more dexterity. Otherwise, and maybe a little bit more of that. So if you find an item with some life and dexterity on it, you can get rid of this and have 21 points to spend how you want. The other thing I wanted to uh, grab was a little bit of damage over here, um, but it was mostly just because it was on the way to get this frenzy charge. I want to have an extra frenzy charge, and then straight down here for another frenzy charge, and then a little bonus chance to gain another frenzy charge. You don't want to run out of them, but so far so good. And the only thing I took over here, you could probably even back out of this, but it's just a little bit of extra damage uh, and some intelligence. That's nice. All right, let's go see how this plays out. It does feel weird. weird to have nothing on your thing. Here we go. All right, that's gone. And this is level, uh, it's a level 45 area. It's going to be a little bit easier, but this will, I mean, you're going to have a perfectly easy time in the next area as well. And all we do is point at it and chop them down. And on this one, we want to make sure we fight them all. So let's keep going real quick. I don't even have Leap Slam. I have nothing on here. No convenient stuff. Oh, here's a, a little bit tougher guy. Oh, he's gone. And what about these guys? Uh, gone. Gone. And this is a 10Z build. Oh, here's a here's a guy that could actually be tougher. And he is a little bit because he got touched by that ghost. And there we go. But you can easily overcome that by spending a few points or putting something spending some of these <laughs> oh we'll level that up I'm not even using that ice bite it's on the background just just in case I I might want to throw that into the mix and are there some guys over here and over here here's the chromatics that's a half chaos close to it oh did he die too yep oh that was it and is there, and I already completed this quest just to show you. I didn't want to keep leveling it. <laughs> and, oh, here's some fire guys. There's always a couple left. What a nice blessed orb. Pretty cool. Um, this is really easy. Um, it's a fun build, and you can only imagine if, you know, you start building this stuff out, taking these out, getting some more things. Also, even with our minus 30 that we just got hit with by killing off Katava. We're still overcapped. We don't really care about this yet. Um, life is not a problem. This isn't a problem. We're just not having any problems. Now, if I put all this stuff back on here, it, it gets even easier, faster. Everything's amazing. Uh, the right tinctures are going to be fun. Maybe something like this at 56. Culling strike. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. I hope this helps, and and it just goes to show you can really, uh, you can really mess around and have a good time with your your skill tree, your passive tree, and have a good time, and not really worry too much. You're gonna do fine. Um, the key to it is just a few items, the things that make things a little easier or a lot easier in some cases. Um, you would think what, well, but that's that's a nice item that makes things pretty pretty easy, and then this. You can find these very cheap and one or two chaos, one or two chaos, and you should be in great shape. Nearby enemies are intimidated. I hope this helps. Have a good time and enjoy. And if you want to spend a little bit more, you can get one of these. I think it's um, three chaos for one that's a t level 20, a quality 20. 
and it helps with the uh, chance to gain frenzy charges. Um, it's just more frenzy charges, so you don't run out. Pretty cool. Have a good time, and I hope this helps. Enjoy. Okay, and just to have some fun, um, put everything back on. Um, put the other what other flicker strike gem back in. Put this on. Turned it on. Turned it on as well. Um, we have that, so we we should have a lot more crit strike, and we spent our points. And let's go find out. Let's reset the area by holding Control, and then clicking it. Push New, and we'll have a whole bunch of new people down there. And let's let's see how it works out now. And nice, nice. Okay, let's open this and find out what's inside. Perfect. Another level. Really likes us now. Moving faster. I like it. What's this? Oh, an abyss. We'll pop down our totem just for fun. And everything just explodes. What about... What about the boss at the end here? Now, this little boss over here. And... Still technically a 10th guild, I think. Close to... Well, the other... Uh, that, that gem would be another 3C... Um, a little more for, um, oh, here he is, and he's done. Cool. Um, I don't press any buttons except for this one. Oh, I didn't turn on pride either. Sorry about that. So it was even more damage. A lot of fun. Oh, here's the bad guy. And I, I just have too much fun. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. And I'm doing the... Uh, series on this guy too so I'm gonna see how well he goes into maps and destroys everything have a good one and enjoy